All right, let's talk about what's going on in the league. Jalen Hurts has just signed a five-year contract extension, $255 million. $179 million of it is guaranteed. So those dollar values plus the $51 million average top what Deshaun Watson got. Mm. The only thing different is that Jalen Hurts' contract is not fully guaranteed for the five years like Deshaun Watson is. However, that being said, he goes to the top in the pay scale in a lot of different categories, and there's fallout. So now, how does Jalen Hurts' contract impact the stalled impasse negotiations in Baltimore with Lamar Jackson? <laughs> is Jackson going to try to supersede what Jalen Hurts just got? And then, then you add into the conversation, how did the, that contract impact the two young guns? Justin Herbert Chargers, Joe Burrow, Bengals, both headed to the final year. If Hertz is getting 50 and Lamar is going to try to get more than 50, that means Burrow and Herbert are going to ask for 50. And what complicates it is you have a Chargers owner, Dean Spanos, who is one of the poor owners in the league. And you got Mike Brown, the Cincinnati owner, who historically is one of the cheapest owners in the league. If everybody's giving their quarterbacks 50, are these guys going to give them 50? So watch that. Second topic, Justin Herbert. The Chargers, like everybody else in the NFL, this week opened off-season workouts. First two weeks are weight training and classroom work, not really stuff on the field. It's more conditioning. He is in the classroom work, but he is not cleared to do anything football-related. Justin Herbert's coming off, surgery, torn labrum. Little bit alarming was that Brandon Staley finally admitted the doctors have not yet cleared Justin Herbert for OTAs. Now that's post draft. That'll be the entire month of May. They don't know whether or not they're going to allow him to throw. Granted, surgery was this one, not the throwing shoulder. So keep that in mind. Rams have opened their workouts, and Matthew Stafford is there. He's been cleared by doctors. He had the concussion issue, he had the bruised back spine issue. He's totally healthy. That's the only thing in the Rams camp up in Thousand Oaks that is right. They just traded one of their big money wide receivers, Allen Robinson. He went to the Pittsburgh Steelers. He is the 17th veteran player, John, removed from the roster in the offseason, wow. including 13 starters out of 24, 22 starters plus the two kickers. Mm -hmm. 13 starters are gone off that roster. And wow. they don't have a lot of draft picks to replace them with. So I, I think the Rams are not going to be a superior team. And they got offensive line problems. Got Matthew Stafford coming off two different injuries. So they're going to have to pay attention to that story. And then you got the Miami story. And this kind of came up like the sun came up. Where'd that come from? Tua Tagovailoa confirming he met with his parents during this offseason. Seriously considered retirement because of the two concussions he got last year said he elected to go through weight training in the off season and he's going to play. The only concern I have is a, he takes a lot of hits B he's not, he's shown he's not been able to stay healthy, not in Miami. And prior to that, not at Alabama and C, if he's mentioning the word retirement, that's not a good sign to me in terms of him being all in and knowing full well, he's going to take a beating or he's going to take hits, et cetera. So, I don't know what the future holds for that that quarterback. If he can't stay on the field, and the fact he's had two concussions already, you know, about a six-week span, I'd be a little bit worried about that. And I'm worried about his psyche, about I'm going to play, but she always thinking about retirement. Go ahead, John. Yeah, there's a lot here to go through. So, you know, talk about the Jalen Hurts deal. This is kind of like what we were talking about with Rob Manford and Tony Clark. You know, these teams are signing these big deals, and they don't have a lot more maneuverability. I wonder if the other owners are getting angry, you know, that the Philadelphia Eagles are signing Jalen Hurts to such a big deal. Is that no, same dynamic going on? No, because you got a salary cap. Mm -hmm. You can't get somebody that's going to go off on a tangent on a wild spending spree. But the price is going up. But the revenue streams are going up. And the salary cap goes up every year. You just have to make sure where you commit your money, you don't make a mistake, and you have enough money to keep other players because the other guys are going to come asking for paydays too. And you got free agency to deal with. So it's just juggling dollars and cents. Uh, but everybody in the league 
is paying their quarterbacks, has to pay their quarterbacks. So like I say, we'll see what the money-pinching Bengals <laughs> and the poor financially-led Chargers do with their kid quarterbacks because those guys are next in line. Yeah, I mean, this is this is something. But like, go back to the Rams for a minute. Now that Matthew Stafford is healthy – and every one of his star players is gone. It's almost like he's back in Detroit, right? With an awful team around him. I mean, what what what's the Rams' plan? I mean, for quarterback, are they just going to rebuild and be good in three or four years, and by that time, Stafford's done? I think that you know they'll they'll start thinking about a quarterback for the future, but they they still got to solve the offensive line problems, and uh, they've stockpiled a whole pile of additional draft picks for guys they let go. Uh, but they traded so many picks away too. So instead of sitting there with having maybe the potential of 14 draft picks, they don't have that number. Um, I just don't think it's going to be a good season. I think they're going to take a step back. Uh, the hope is you don't get the quarterback busted up along the way, but you know they, they did get their Super Bowl and they spent an awful lot of capital and currency to get to that Super Bowl, but now those bills have come due. It's, it's just a very different business model now. Yeah, isn't it interesting how there's a lot of teams that do that? They'll build for a championship and then they'll tear it all down. You know, we don't ever see those sustainable models in 